Hi everyone, I'm going to be making a review on cold press juicing. Right now I use my Blendtec. I've used Blendtec and I've used Vitamix for making green smoothies. And I'm not a person that really likes vegetables. In fact, I hate vegetables. I can't stand vegetables. And I figure if I'm going to be doing the green smoothies, I may as well put in as much green as I can and no fruit uh, so that I get the benefit of getting the greens and not a lot of sugar from fruit. The problem is that I hate the taste of it. I can't stand the smell of spinach and I don't like the smell of kale. I can taste them and handle them really well eating them raw with Thousand Island dressing, but that kind of defeats the purpose because there's a lot of fat and artificial junk inside dressing. So somebody loaned me a cold press juicer and I went out to the store and bought some kale and some spinach and some celery and some cucumbers and some lemon and apples and I am going to be doing my first ever cold press juice. I, they showed me how to use this machine so I'm gonna try it out right now and I'll see what it does. I'll see if I like it. If it's better than uh, making a regular smoothie. The problem is you don't get the fiber when you uh, cold press juice but the whole goal is to drink it, and I am really not drinking a lot of the stuff when I'm using my Blendtec or Vitamix because I don't like the taste, so I do everything I can to avoid it. So if this works out, good for me. I'm going to take all the vegetables that I just bought, and I'm going to wash them off and get them all clean, and then I'm going to slice everything up, and you can watch me do my first cold press juice and see what I think. It's on. And I'm pushing the cucumber with my hand, and liquid is coming out now. Liquid's definitely coming out. And you can see the fiber shooting out the back. There it is down there. That is from the cucumber and the celery. So I'm going to go finish this thing off and then show you. That is all the fiber. People make muffins with this. I'm not going to, I'm just doing this as a test right now. That's a lot of fruit. A lot of that stuff is going in the garbage. And I know that if you put that in a Vitamix or a Blendtec, you would end up getting all of those nutrients and the fiber, and you wouldn't be throwing half your money away. So when I look at that, I'm not... That is what I got out of some of the kale and spinach. It's extremely... Maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but this is a really narrow tube and a really small opening over here. It's very hard to put anything in here like kale and spinach and it just doesn't really want to that's what I got after about 10 minutes so I've probably been working on this drink for about 20 minutes half an hour now and I know it's my first time so um, with experience I would probably be much faster but if I was gonna buy a unit like this I would definitely make sure that the opening was much the tube was much wider because this just this is ridiculous it's taking me way too long I have to cut up the apples, I have to cut up the celery, I had a slice up. They told me to put lemon in there and I don't have any lemon, I have some lemon juice so I poured some lemon juice in there and I'm mixing it up now and mostly what I taste from all of this right now, well mainly because I don't have a lot of kale or spinach, I just couldn't get it, I couldn't get it in there. So I have two full cucumbers and this tastes a lot like cucumber juice right now. Um. I put some lemon in here, and it tastes like a little bit of bitter, <laughs> bitter cucumber juice. It doesn't taste bad, I will say that. This is something that I could easily drink every day because it is clear, and it's like a lemonade. It's an acquired taste. Um, it is not nasty. I don't, I'm not struggling to drink it. It's not a great taste, but I'm not struggling to drink it, whereas in the Blendtec of the Vitamix, uh, it's thick, and it's probably thick because, like I said, I put an enormous amount of greens in there. I don't put any cucumbers or the lemon or the apples because, to me, that's a lot of calories, a lot of fill calories and sugar that I really don't need. And I, I mostly just want to get the kale or the spinach, so I do that with some liquid or some water or some orange juice. So, do I like it? Yes. Would I spend 10, 15 minutes, 20, probably 20 minutes a day making it with this type of unit with a small channel? Absolutely not. Um, I think the amount of time invested in making it would shut me down right away. I would have to go to the store all the time and buy this stuff, which I'd have to do that anyway with the uh, 
with the blend tech, but at least I can go down to the store and buy big bags of that and freeze it. With this, uh, a lot of trouble shoving it through the channel, a lot of trouble making it. Um, it does taste good, but again, I think I would probably burn out after a short amount of time and say, I don't want I will say, though, that I'm drinking all of this, and it's not really too nasty. I think with a little bit of seasoning, it would probably taste a lot better. Maybe Yesterday in my video, I used a cold press juicer, and as you just saw, it was a nightmare for me. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make this in a regular blender with the same items that I used yesterday, and we'll see how much easier or harder it is and what I like better. What I did is I put in as much as I could. I have completely filled this blender all the way to the top. I put in one apple instead of two. I put in one cucumber instead of two. I put in most of my kale and spinach. And now what I'm going to do is, since you need liquid to use this in a blender, I'm going to be putting in some apple juice. Uh, the whole process to do this so far was about one minute, maybe 30 seconds to slice everything up and push it in here. I'll put the juice in here. I'm going to put it on the uh, blender now and see what uh, comes out of it. What I've done is I've put 16 ounces of apple juice in here. Um, the difference between the cold press and using it in the blender is all of the, all of the vegetables and fruit are going to go into the drink and into my system. The fiber and everything I bought, whereas with the cold press, um, you strictly get the juice and probably 50% of what you bought ends up going in the garbage can and not in your system. Um, it is much quicker to make, and now I'm going to go put it on the blender and see if it tastes any good. There it is. Took me a total of about two to three minutes to take everything out of the refrigerator, slice it up really fast, throw it in the blender, and uh, mix it up on uh, whole juice things so that I would get a good consistency. You can see on the top right now, let me position the camera, that the juice is kind of leaked out of the top because this thing is completely full um, with way too much liquid and way too much everything. So now let me open it up and taste it. It definitely looks nasty. It is thick and gunky as we can see here. Um, it's got all of the the fiber and it's got everything, everything that I bought in the store. So let me position the camera here and take a taste of this stuff. I want you to be able to see what it's going to look like. It's definitely not, it's a thicker, it's, well I put a lot of stuff in here, so obviously it's, it's going to be thick compared to most other juices because there's just a lot of stuff in here. It's kind of thick like a milkshake. Um, it's definitely not watering, mainly again because I have a lot of stuff in here. It, I will say, you know, this is not really bad, and I think the reason it's not bad is because the cucumber and the, I don't know if the celery, but the cucumber definitely breaks down the taste of the, uh, the kale and the spinach and makes it very easy to drink. I'm surprised. I didn't put the lemon juice in here. Let me try that and see if that, no, I'm not even going to do that. My opinion, my, my, my feeling right now is I do like the cold pressed juice. Um, I was able to do this whole process just now in five minutes. It will take me two, two minutes maybe to clean this blender. Cold press, cold press the process took me, took me a long time to get everything cut up and sliced up so it could fit in that little tube. And then it took me forever to juice all, all of that. I couldn't get a lot of liquid out of the kale and the spinach, so I just gave up. And then it took me probably ten, at least 10 minutes to clean the machine properly. So um, as far as cold pressed, it's delicious. If I was buying it in the store, which is really expensive, but if I was buying it in the store, then yeah, I would be fine with that. Doing it at home, this to me is the way to go. If you don't want it to be as thick and as gunky, believe me, this has got probably two, three, four, five times as much kale and spinach as most drinks do that are cold pressed. This is all, this whole thing is nothing but fruit. Well, you saw it, the whole blender all the way up to the top, the biggest jar they sell, completely filled to the top with fruits and vegetables, and then 16 ounces of apple juice. So everything that I bought is going in my system, including the fiber. Easier to make, easier to prepare, easier to uh, clean. 
uh, I would go with this. This is the way I'm going to go. This has convinced me that um, this is the best way. It might not be the best tasting, but it's definitely the best way. So hopefully this helped you, and that's it. I wanted to put this on here. I think it's really important to show. This blender, you can see the liquid. That is what you would have if you had a cold press drink. Um, that's maybe a third, 20, probably about a third of the container. You can see the rest of the container is all fiber and all foam. So if you were to strain this out, you would get about that much juice. But, I mean, look at that. That's, that's just an enormous waste. It's a big waste. I drank about a third of it. About a third of it is thick, foamy, fibery stuff because it's settled now. I let it settle, and the bottom is all juice. So, um, I think I think this is the way to go. I really do. It, it doesn't taste bad. The cucumber makes a huge difference in getting rid of the smell and taste of the kale and the spinach. It makes a big difference. I'm really surprised. And I just think financially you're throwing a lot of stuff away if you go with pressed, and uh, you're also throwing away a lot of the benefit, too. So I'm just going to struggle through it and try to drink the stuff made out of a blender or a juice machine and not out of a cold-pressed juicer.